Now to the turmoil surrounding the 2020 election. Tonight, Michigan Republicans held a press conference in Macomb County after the state charged 16 people in Michigan in an alleged fake elector scheme. Seven of those charged are from Southeast Michigan. Seven Action News reporter Brett Cast was at that press conference and joins us now live with their message today. Brett. Yeah, well, Carolyn, we're standing along Garfield Road right now in uh, Clinton Township. You can see the American flags lining the road and also flags like this that say Trump won, Democrats cheated, of course, about the 2020 election. And that is what this press conference that is currently ongoing right now is about here at the Michigan GOP party headquarters. Now, again, uh, this press conference probably just started maybe 15 minutes ago, so I had to step out a little bit early. It's still going on now, but we heard from a party chairman at uh, Michigan GOP, or excuse me, uh, Macomb County GOP. We also heard from a state representative. We also heard a statement from U.S. Congresswoman Lisa McLean, all calling this a political witch hunt, saying that Dana Nessel has uh, weaponized the justice system to go after these 16 electors who back in 2020 had claimed they were the electors for the state of Michigan, casting their votes for Donald Trump. Of course, the results show that Joe Biden won the election by about 150,000 votes. But here today they were defending what happened, saying that that nothing was done illegally, that they were the uh, Republican Trump electors that were voicing their vote for president of the United States. And again, we heard from quite a few of them today. They're still speaking right now. And here's uh, Mark Fortin, the, or the chairman uh, of the Macomb County GOP. This is a witch hunt designed to prosecute and punish citizens who are duly elected to perform major function in presidential elections. It's also designed to promote a phony narrative Again, we heard from them inside there, uh, many members of the Michigan GOP. We also heard from Dana Nessel uh, yesterday. We also caught up with two of those who were actually charged. And later tonight, sticking around at uh, 7 Action News at 11, we should also be hearing from former U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider, who can weigh in on some illegal analysis about these charges. Again, all 16 are facing eight felony counts that range from different fraudulent charges to also charges that are, are resolving or revolving around election law. But for now, we're live in uh, Clinton Township on broadcast 7 Action News. A lot to unpack. Thank you so much, Brad.